Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. Got a question for you. How many of you have actually seen the 1948 Yankees play the 1948 Red Sox? Well, you're going to see it here today. And as an added bonus, this will be the first game on my website, first Stratomatic card and dice game on my website that I will be doing using the advanced um, game, the advanced version of the game. Say what? Instead of the basic. So as I said, today's matchup is going to be the 1948 Yankees, who were 94 and 60, going up against the 1948 Red Sox, who were 96 and 59, two games or a game and a half, separated these uh, two teams. And, uh, and neither one of them ended up winning the American League. Boston finished second, and the Yankees finished third. So today's pitching matchup is going to be Vic Rashi for the Yankees. And the only reason it's Vic Rashi is because I like saying Vic Rashi. And he's going to go up against Mel Parnell. So um, Parnell is a lefty. Rashi is a righty. You can see I've got my 1948 Fenway um, Advanced uh, Weather Effects uh, Lefty Righty Breakdown up there, and uh, we will be doing this. Now, I don't use the Advanced game very much. In fact, to say not very much is to mean really not at all. So, um, there I may make mistakes with that, um, and... If I don't know something, I'm just going to move on past it, and I'm just going to do my best interpretation of it. But we will try to use the advanced game to do this. The visiting team is the Yankees, and so they will be up first. Their uh, lineup is Phil Rizzuto at shortstop, Yogi Berra at catcher, batting second, Joe DiMaggio batting third in center field, Tommy Heinrich in right field, Lindell in left, uh, Johnson, maybe Bart Johnson, I don't know. At third base, McQuinn will be the first baseman. Uh, Stuffy Sternweiss will be at second base. And Vic Rashi batting ninth. Now, also, the pitchers are batting, but I'm just using the... I mean, I don't know if there's another way to do it, but I'm going to just use the, the basic uh, pitcher's batting card. For them. For Boston, their lineup is going to be Dom DiMaggio leading off and playing center field, Bobby Doerr at second base, Ted Williams, the splendid splinter, will bat third and play left field, Vern Stevens will be the shortstop, uh, Goodman is at first base, uh, Bernie Tebbets is the catcher, Johnny Pesky will be at third base, and he has a pole named after him in here in Fenway. <laughs> Spence will be the right fielder, and Mel Parnell, the pitcher. So, we're going to lead off, and the first batter is Rizzuto. He is a right-handed uh, batter, batting against the left-handed Mel Parnell. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, and so a 6-6 six, six against a right-handed batter is going to be a ground ball to uh, the third baseman, and he is out. One away. So that is 5-3. He goes out. Yogi Berra is up, and that is a 5-10. He is a left-handed batter, so a 5-10 against a lefty on Parnell is a strikeout. That is going to be two down very quickly for the Yankees, and... Joe DiMaggio, and he gets a 7 and a 5-7 of a righty against the righty is going to be a ground ball shortstop A. So he goes out 6-3, to three and the Yankees go down very quickly there in the first inning. So not a lot different that inning than, uh, than playing the basic version, but I'm sure that's going to come into play. Dom DiMaggio leading off for the Red Sox. And he gets a 4-4. He is a right-handed batter against Vic Rashi. Um, 
So let's see. 4-4 four, four is a ground ball shortstop X. Now the shortstop for the uh, Yankees is Rizzuto, and he is a 2-E-21. Keen is going to be right off the card, and it's going to be a ground ball A. So that is a 6-3. He goes out, and that'll bring up Bobby Dore. And one away. He gets a 2-2, and he's going up against a... Um, uh, right-handed pitcher, so 2-2 two, two is going to be a fly ball center field A. He goes F8, and Ted Williams is up. And he gets a 1-5, which is going to be a, uh, let's see, against a righty, it's going to be a home run 1-13, to and that is going to be a double. So Ted Williams gets the first hit of the game. Which turns out, and I mean, you know, turns out to be a uh, double. And Parnell gives up a hit. And also, I need to go up here because Rashi had a strikeout. And uh, that, yeah, okay. So we're caught up, and that brings Vern Stevens to the plate. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a righty. And 6-6 uh, six, six is going to be a strikeout, and that is going to be it for the Red Sox. They go down uh, one, two, three. Um, yeah. So. Uh, we go to the top of the second. Top of the second inning, and uh, this is going to be Tommy Heinrich. Heinrich batting against uh, Heinrich batting against uh, Parnell. He gets a one-two, and he is a righty uh, going up against a lefty. But it, uh, let's see, one-two is going to be a walk. Yep, that is a walk for Heinrich. So Parnell allows a man on. Johnny Lindell is up. He gets an 8-3-8 eight, eight, and 3-8. Gets a left-handed pitcher. That's a pop-out to second. One away. Pop-out four. Brings up Bill Johnson. He gets a 1-6. And that is going to be a... Let's see. Yeah, he is a lefty. That is a single double asterisk. So that's going to be runners are at the corners now. Heinrich moving over to third. And the Yankees have something brewing here with George McQuinn, the batter. And he gets a 3-6 against a lefty, and that's going to be a fly ball center field B. And um, that is a... They're going to, they can test the arm, so it may, it's a question mark. So the way I read it is, it's a questionable fly ball B. The guy has a chance to score. He is a running 14, and the throwing arm of the center fielder is a negative 3, which would bring it down to 11, so he is going to hold. And that's how I read that. If that's wrong, then, you know, it's wrong. <laughs> Um, but he flies out, and then that brings up Snuffy, not Stuffy. <laughs> Snuffy Sternweiss is the batter, and he gets a 1-5 against the lefty. That's going to be a triple, a triple that clears the bases and knocks in two runs. Two RBIs, and... They scored that run anyway, so it's a good thing they didn't send for the Yankees. It's a good thing they didn't send him anyhow because they ended up uh, scoring that run anyhow. And that brings in two runs. And now the pitcher is up. If it's off the pitcher's card, not going to be any righty lefty, and there isn't. And he uh, gets a strikeout. So he does strike out Vic Rashi. But he allows two runs, Parnell does, and the Yankees have a 2-0 lead. 
as we go to the bottom of the second with Boston batting. And Billy Goodman is coming up against Rashi, and that is a 4-8. He is a lefty. And uh, that is going to be a fly ball center field B. So Goodman is out, one away. Bertie Tebbets comes up. He gets a 5-4. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball. Shortstop X. The shortstop for the Yankees, it again, is Rizzuto. He has a 221. That's a 12. I think that that is going to um, get a, a second roll. It does get a second roll. And he is an E21. So we'll roll a two dice. And that is a three. So we go down to E21 and three. And uh, that is going to be an E1. So Rizzuto makes an error and that is going to be an error for Rizzuto in the second and that guy gets on by an E6 with Johnny Pesky up got his own pole here in in Boston and he gets a 2-9 and uh, against a righty that is going to be a ground ball first base b and so now pesky is on at first base and it's a fielder's choice and that brings to the plate stan spence and he gets a two six against a righty and that's going to be a line out to first base Line out three. The um, Red Sox get nothing there. Despite the error by Rizzuto, who is the batter right now. Back to the top of the Yankees lineup to lead off the third inning. And he gets a 2-9 against a lefty. And that is going to be a ground ball second base C. So that's going to be a 4-3 for Rizzuto. Yogi Berra up. He gets a 3-8 against the lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes out 1-3. And Joe DiMaggio, Jolton Joe, gets a 5-6, and he is a righty, so that's going to be a fly ball left field B. So that is an F7, and the Yankees go down quickly there in the third. But they have a 2-0 lead as we go to the bottom of the third. And Parnell is up and he'll bat. And he is a right-handed batter against the right-handed pitcher. And that's a 5-8. And that is going to be a ground ball. Or wait a minute. Um, that's going to be a fly ball center field. So... Parnell flies out, brings up DiMaggio, slide DiMaggio, slide, and he gets, uh, but it's Don DiMaggio, not, <laughs> not the other one. 1-5 one against a righty, and that is going to be a single. So he gets a hit. Don DiMaggio is aboard. That is the first hit allowed by, no, it's the second hit allowed by Vic Rashi. And, um, yeah. And Bobby Doerr is up. And he gets a 3-7 and uh, against a righty, that is going to be a ground ball shortstop double play. So that is a 6-4-3. Um, and the Red Sox get no runs. There we go to the top of the fourth. This is moving along. I was thinking this was going to take a long time because of my unfamiliarity. It'll take a little longer than doing the basic game, but it shouldn't take that much longer. Tommy Heinrich comes up. He gets a 6-2. He is a lefty batting against a righty. And 6-2 uh, is going to be a single... Um, yeah. It's going to be a... I'm going to call it a single. It's a single 
with uh, an open triangle, I don't think that that's a possible infield single. So I'm just going to call it for my purposes. And then a single one to nine under it. So I'm just going to call it a single with uh, Heinrich getting a board with a hit off of Parnell like he needs that. Johnny Lindell is up, but leave it in the comments, you know, what that's supposed to be. That is a 4-5, and a 4-5 is a righty against a righty, and that is going to be a, um, or a righty against a left-handed pitcher. Um, yeah. And that's going to be a triple 1-5, to five, and that is going to actually be a single double asterisk, so that moves the base runner over to third. And it's another hit off of Parnell. They probably regret letting having him having him hit last inning and not pitch hitting for him. Bill Johnson is up with no with no outs, right? And that is an eleven uh, righty against a right hander uh, for eleven, and that is going to be a walk. And the bases are full now. There's no place to put anybody. And. Uh, so Parnell is in a little bit of a jam. They're going to play the infield back. It's a high-scoring, good offense here by Boston. They're going to uh, hope for the double play. George McQuinn is up. He gets a 4-6. And against the lefty, that is going to be a that's going to be a single double asterisk. Wait, yep, a single double asterisk. So they don't get that. They get, as a matter of fact, another hit, which scores two more runs. And, uh, yeah, Parnell's having his um, ass beat in right here, which brings Snuffy Sternweiss up. And he gets a 2-7, which is against a uh, lefty. Against a lefty is going to be an out. It's going to be a line out to second base. So, and let's make sure that that wasn't, yeah. That is a line out to second base. And now they could really use, Boston really right here could use the double play with the pitcher up. And he's winning big right now, so they're not going to pinch hit for him. 6-6, six, six. Um, a right-handed batter, 6-6 six, six is going to be a ground ball, third base B. And they didn't have the infield, uh, they had the infield back, so that's going to be a Fielder's choice, which allows another run to score. Vic Rashi getting the uh, fielder's choice and the RBI. And yet another run. And now the Yankees have a 5 to nothing lead on Parnell with Phil Rizzuto up. And he gets a 3-8 against the lefty and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher and he goes out one to three but the Yankees get three more runs in the fourth and we go to the bottom of the fourth with the score the Yankees five the Boston Red Sox nothing and uh, Ted Williams a splendid splinter is going to lead it off and that is a 6-8 for a lefty against a righty. And that is going to be a single. So Williams is two for two today. Not surprising for the splendid splinter. He's aboard. And uh, Vern Stevens is up. And he gets a 110 against a lefty. That's going to be, a, or against a righty against a righty is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop double play. So that is a 6-4-3 uh, double play and that brings up Billy Goodman, left-handed batter. And he gets a 4-11 and that is going to be a ground ball to second base. So um, that's going to be a 4-3 and Boston Again, comes up with nothing. They're, they're doing a whole lot of nothing against Vic Rashi. And Yogi Berra is the batter. Uh, he gets a 6-8 uh, 
Uh, he is a lefty, and uh, that is going to be a ground ball to first base. So, Barra is, goes uh, ground out three. DiMaggio is up. Joe DiMaggio, four, six. He is a righty. And that is going to be a single. DiMaggio with a hit. That's his first hit. And Parnell giving up his seventh hit of the game already. And Tommy Heinrich up. He gets a 4-7 and he is a lefty. And that's going to be a fly ball to the right fielder. So that's two down. F9 and Lindell. Comes up Johnny Lindell. Get the 3-4 and against a lefty. And that is going to be a possible infield single. And uh, let's see. He rolled a 10 and so that is going to be an infield single. Would have been a fly ball if we were just going straight off the card. But um, turns out it is an infield single. And another 8 hit allowed by... The beleaguered uh, Parnell with Bill Johnson up, and he gets a 6-10. He is a righty, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop X. The Boston Red uh, shortstop is Vern Stevens. He's a shortstop 2E24. That is a 16. I believe that that is just red. Yeah, that's right off the card, and it's a ground ball A. And uh, that is going to be it. But the Yankees get no runs is really what happens. They do not get another run off of Parnell, though they did threaten there. And uh, Bertie Tebbets for Boston is the batter here in, in the bottom of the fifth inning. And that is a 5-7, righty against righty. And that is going to be a single. So he gets a board with a hit. Hit allowed, that's the fourth hit allowed by Rashi with no runs. And Johnny Pesky, Pesky's pole, gets a 2-10 against a right-handed pitcher. And that is going to be a ground ball C. That will move the runner over to third. Or over to second, rather. Um, which brings up Spence. Stan Spence. Stan Spence, the batter. That's a 5'11 for a lefty against a righty. And what was that? 5'11. That is a fly ball left field B. That will not advance the runner. And now that Parnell is up, we are going to pinch hit for Parnell. All right, well, the pinch hitter for Boston, appropriately named Matt Batts, will be the batter. He hit 314 in 1948 with a, in 118 at bats, and he had 12 doubles and a home run. And he gets a 1-9. He is a righty against the lefty. And let's see what that is. That is going to be a single without... Uh, it's not a double asterisk. It's a one asterisk. So he only advances the runner to third base. But that does keep them alive and in the running to get another run. The running to get a run. And uh, that brings up... Dom DiMaggio, Joe's brother, and that is a 5-6, and he is a righty against a lefty, and that is a ground ball, second base A, so that is, he goes out, 4-3, uh, to three. they came close to scoring, Boston did, but they did not. Pitcher for the Boston Red Sox, which we do need now, is going to be Dave Ferris. And Dave Ferris is a batting four, so I gotta go get another, I gotta get a batting four card. Uh, they, uh, the Yankees are now up in the top of the sixth. 
This game is moving right along with the Yankees well in control, up 5 nothing, and Bill Johnson batting against Dave Ferris, who is a right-handed pitcher. So it's righty on righty, 4-6, and that is going to be a single to right field. Bill Johnson with a hit. Or wait a minute. That's supposed to be George McQuinn. All right. So if that's McQuinn and he's a lefty, and that's a 4-6, that's really a walk. But it's still, it, you know, basically same difference. It's a man aboard. And uh, this is Ferris. I got to write him in. This uh, Boston bullpen, by the way, is horrible. So once Parnell had to leave, things were going to go down downhill. And you'll probably see that. Snuffy Sternweiss is up. He gets a 1-7. He is a righty uh, against a righty now. And that is going to be a line out to second base. So... Sternweiss lines out to four. Runner still at first base with one down now. Vic Rashi, the batter, he gets a 2-5. That is going to be a ground ball, second base, double play. So he goes out 4-6-3. Um, the Yankees get no runs. And we go to the bottom of the sixth with Bobby Doerr, the batter, for the Boston Red Sox. Down 5 nothing here. To Vic Rashi. And that is a 5 6 righty on righty. And um, that's going to be a fly ball right field. So Bobby Doerr is out. That is an F9, one away. Ted Williams, a splendid splinter, two for two here. And he is going to get a home run. That gets Boston on the board, and they're loving that. But. Um, yeah, and he's not to mention he's three for three for three with a home run, a double, and a single. So he only needs a triple for the for the cycle. But that is the hardest part of the formula to get, as anybody will tell you. Vern Stevens is now the batter. He gets a six ten against a righty. And that is going to be a it well it's a uh, it's a ballpark home run, and that is a 17, which means it is not a home run. Now I don't know if that is not a home run. Is it a fly ball out? And uh, I would have to say it probably. I want to say it is. I don't think I would make it into a double. I wouldn't know to make it into a double. So I'm going to say that that is a fly ball out because he um, did not get the uh, he didn't get the home run. I mean, really, is what happened. Uh, so that is going to be a fly out, fly out um, uh, to left field, and we have Billy Good. Billy Goodman, they missed one there. 1-9, one and that is going to be against a right-handed pitcher is going to be a ground ball first base. So that is going to be a ground out three. Boston comes up with one. They could have had two, and that would have kind of put them back in it. But with one, they're really not kind of back in it. So Rizzuto batting against Dave Ferris. And he gets a 5-7, and that is going to be a um, walk. So Ferris walks Rizzuto. Now, I'm not really up on the stealing, you know, what all the numbers on the stealing mean. But that really doesn't matter anyway, because the Yankees are up 5 nothing here uh, late. So they probably wouldn't be stealing anyway. Yogi Berra is the batter. He gets a 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven. Six, seven, um, against the lefty is a ground ball second baseman. The second baseman for Boston is a 1-E8. That is a 15. So we'll look at the advanced fielding chart. And uh, 15 is going to be a ground ball double play. So that is 
going to be a 463. Double play, and there are two down with Joe DiMaggio, the coffee man, Mr. Coffee, is up, and he gets a 1 9 against a right handed pitcher, and that is a pop out to second base. Pop out four, the Yankees get no more runs there. So Ferris has come on. He's done a really good job in relief of Parnell. Um, but they, the Red Sox are still find themselves down four here in the bottom of the seventh with Bertie Tennant up. And that is a 6-4 for a righty against a righty. And that is going to be a catcher card X. That is a 16, so we will refer to the catcher's card. 16 and that is the catcher is for the um let's see who was this tabbits so the catcher for the yankees is uh barra and he is a three and that is a 16 so 16 three is a pass ball plus a pop out but it doesn't really matter that it was a, a pass ball what matters is that it's a pop out to the catcher and one down. Which brings up Johnny Pesky. And he gets a 1 4 against a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he goes out 6 3. And Spence is the batter. Stan Spence. He gets a 6 7. And that is going to be a ground ball second base. Again, the second baseman, did we uh, did we go through him? No, he's a 2E6. That is a 5, so it's going to be off the regular type of chart for a second baseman, I believe. And, uh, yeah, let's see. 5, and he's a 2. That's a ground ball A, so it's 4-3. Um that Heinrich goes out, or wait a minute, 4-3 that Spence goes out. Heinrich would be up now, so um, no runs come in for Boston. We go to the top of the eighth with Heinrich up. I marked something down for him wrongly, but we'll let him back, and we will correct it if we need to. That is a 6-10 lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. And uh, that is a um, that is uh, an out center field. Let's see. So yeah, he's out. Oh wait a minute. F eight. So then Lindell is up. Johnny Lindell gets a two ten against a righty. And that is a ballpark home run, but it is going to be an out because it isn't a home run. Um, and uh, that's going to be an out to left field. F7 and Johnson is the batter. And he gets a 4-9. Four 4-9 nine. Four nine, um, is against a righty. And that is going to be a double. So Bill Johnson rips a double down the line. And that's the first hit Ferris is allowed. And of course, Ferris, being a starter reliever, he is a relief five, so he can go for quite a while here. Six, eight uh, for a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball, second base, four to three. And uh, McQuinn, that was that was McQuinn went out four to three. The Yankees again get no runs, but they may not need them. They've got a five to one lead. All right, the pitcher spot is up for Boston, and they're going to pinch hit for him with Sam Mele to lead off the ninth, the uh, eighth inning for Boston, and that is a six nine a righty against a righty, and that is going to be. A fly ball to left field. So Mele is out. F 
F7. Brings us back to the top of the Boston lineup with Don DiMaggio. He gets a 6-6. Six, six, and that is going to be a strikeout. Another strikeout for Rashi. Third one, I think. And then Bobby Dorr. Of course, this is back in the day when pitchers or batters prided themselves on not striking out. And uh, that is a 2-7 against a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. And Boston is only going to have one more shot. We're going to the top of the ninth with the Yankees up 5-1. to one. And Snuffy Sternweiss batting against the new pitcher who is now Dan Denny Galehouse for Boston. And that is a 1-6. Galehouse is a righty. And that's a fly ball center field for Sternweiss. Vic Rash, he's the batter. No reason to take him out. He's well in control here. And he did pitch that year 223 innings, so I think he can take it. Plus, he is a starter nine. Uh, that is a 110, and that's going to be a ground ball third base. So he goes out 5-3. to three, And... Brings up Phil Rizzuto, and he gets a 1-8, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes out 1-3. to three. And now this is Boston's last shot right here. They got the splendid splinter who is batting a 1,000 on the day, batting against Rashi. And he gets a 3-6, which is going to be a single. And he continues. He did not get the... Um, he didn't get the you know hitting for the cycle because he needed a triple but he is four for four today with a home run a double and two singles Vernon Stevens is the batter he gets a two eight against a right-handed pitcher and that is going to be a ground ball third base double play so a five four three and with two down down to their last out and needing four runs Billy Goodman is up and he gets a six six and uh, that is going to be a walk. So they are still barely alive. Rashi walks Goodman. And brings up um, Birdie Tights. And he gets a 3-7. And he is against a uh, righty. That is a single double asterisk. So now they got a little something going. But they do have two outs. So... That is the, that's the downside to having the uh, something going here. But Johnny Pesky is the batter. He gets a 4-7, and he is a lefty, and that is going to be a line out to first base for the last out. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, first ever um advanced uh, game. I think I did pretty well at it, actually, for not having uh, used it very much. But that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.